Sugar Box Ride. The Southern Sugar TV presents Miss Ruby, 89 Sugar Caprice LS, coming out the muddy Mississippi. Oh, you done did it now. The streets done woke up a sleeping giant, and this is about to go down, baby. I'm talking about the car so clean. Sugar Box Ride got it shining like a brand new diamond, baby. With a six liter engine, when you crank her up, you can hear it from a block away. I told y'all y'all wouldn't hear it. And don't get it twisted. We're keeping it old school, baby. With 22 inch taking wild wheels. With the full tires, man. Cause if your paint ain't shine and your rims don't bling, you ain't clean. And that's for real, man. Cause we're taking this thing to a whole nother level. So get ready. This ad was brought to you by Southern Chevy TV. Home with Miss Ruby. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Chevy Box Rider here, Southern Chevy TV. And. In for another one. So I was sitting here thinking, man, I really need to get my um, seats clean before I put them in or get them reupholstered. They look real good, but, you know, I'm just meticulous about things. So I was sitting here thinking either I could clean them or I could take them and go and get them redone. So let's get this video started and let me show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, YouTube, about. you see that clean OBS? So got the seats thrown in the back of the truck. And I must say, these seats are clean. They are clean. They got a few little, you know, look like dirt spots or whatever. Not nothing real noticeable. I mean, mind you, it's nothing real noticeable. Um, you can see a little bit right there on the edges or whatever. Yeah, you can see. So I'm debating if I want to just clean them because they're not ripped. They're not even worn bad. So I might clean them. And then again, I might take them and get them real posted. I don't know. But we're going to ride around, go to a couple shops, see what the prices is on getting both of them reupholstered, and the price on just shampooing them and doing them ourselves, letting them sit out in the sun since it's a beautiful day. And then hopefully get them installed, man. Get them installed. Because, man, that, that new carpet looks so good. So we definitely going to have to get it, get it going and get this ugly workbench seat out. Got to get that out, that got to come out. And also, I need to go by the junkyard and see if I can find two better um, seat belts because these are broken, seat, seat belt latches. So that's kind of what I'm in store for today. But the main focus is seeing which route we're gonna go with these seats. So let's take a ride and we're gonna go by, go by two shops and see what they talking. So let me get the camera. So yeah, YouTube, the first one I'm gonna go and check out, I really kind of don't like dealing with this guy because of past experience with Ruby trying to get the top done. He made me wait so long, would never return my calls on letting me know the pricing to get that um, to get that uh, canvas top that I got put on Ruby. So, and he had real poor customer service, but one thing I hate about it in my city Man, dealing with a lot of these folks, man, if you're a certain person, they really don't like dealing with you. You know what I'm saying? It's like they only want to work for their own and stuff like that. And it's crazy, but I don't have much to work with here in my city. So let's uh, get the camera turned around and let's get to this next spot. She did with it here. Okay, it's a 2014 Ford Fusion. It'll be the um, right rear quarter glass. Yeah, so you said make sure it's passenger. All right, and it's for so it's the passenger is side. Are those seats back there? Yeah. Passenger mm -hmm. side. They go in the rear quarter in glass. Truck. In that truck. Mm -hmm. I don't need them installed. I just yeah. them. All right, now so hold recovered. on a second. Because when I looked that up yesterday, I had to call y'all. Yeah. Anybody has though, unless you want me to try to get one out of the junkyard, and that one's gonna run you that one's gonna run 245 bucks. But vent windows are more expensive than windshields most of the time, so yeah, that 245. one, yeah, 245. I can try to get one.
Well, I mean, she's had her car flailing her arms. Yeah, teaching her. And children. I was and I wasn't going to argue with a woman at the scene of the school parking lot. I told her, "Look, lady, there aren't no signs. There's no signs nowhere saying I can't come in this way. Um, you need to just shut up and get back in your car." Is what I said. The, um, with the uh, the steering uh, the steering assist valve underneath it or steering control valve underneath it. There's they had multiple front ends underneath these cars, and that's that's when they started these cars. Why don't I see one? I only see three. Where's the fourth one at? I see three of them here. It's the same stuff. Yep. Sure is. Same exact stuff. That's the only reason I was wondering if it, how it was going to be factory <laughs> because that stuff is uh, not a factory material. And here's what they put in with it over right here. Oh, uh, okay. close. Cl yeah. Hit. I think that one, that one, and with that other one. That other one that you got in, they're darker for sure. That's a lot darker than that one. Yeah, I think with that on the size, because that, that pretty, well. Yeah, that, I mean, being There's inside a the vehicle. In there, though. Yeah, being inside the vehicle, I think that. That'll go like that, and with the, which one was it that you showed? That one right there? Well, this God one. Damn, sit in there all that damn time. Woo, that's why I told you I don't like really dealing with them, but he says $860 to do them seats. Well, we're going to go to the person that did Ruby and see what the hell he's going to say. So I say, you got to pay to play, you know, which $860, if I got to pay it, I got to pay it. It is what it is, but we're going to go and see if we can get it for as low as we can. And if we can't, we'll make a decision at the end. So let's head down to the other one. So we back. I made it down here to Headlines Plus. And now let's see what type of deal we about to get here. This is the same people that did the top for Ruby. Let's see if they cut me a little deal. See what we got. Do the same thing, but I think it looked better with uh, with the, with oh, the old okay. ones on there. Okay, yeah, that'll work. But yeah, that's what I. How you gonna do this seat? Same same way or? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. You don't I, want, you don't I, want two tone it, huh? Nah, I guess. Well, not. I got new door panels coming in. That and those uh, new door panels are the same color as like my thing, and it's gonna be all dark. So I said, might as well do the seat dark. Yeah. I Cause I just did the. Uh, Where did this come from? That's the carpet. Piece oh, this carpet. going in there? Yeah, I already put the carpet in. So. Oh, and this one you did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, trying to get rid of all that work stuff, that work shit that was in there. So um, just try to find something that dark. I'll give you five hundred dollars back for this truck if you want to. I ain't pay five hundred. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too much going in and now. <laughs> all right, come on, let's go pick out something. Uh, it don't happen brother. too often though. <laughs> YouTube. So after talking with Brian, Brian gave me a quote of seven hundred and thirty dollars to redo the seats. Whole lot cheaper than old boy. But honestly, what I really think, I mean, like I say, this ain't about to be no show truck or nothing like that. So probably what I'm gonna do with these seats is just go ahead and have them clean and call it a day on them. I think that's really what I'm gonna do. And I think that'll be the best option. So I might clean them myself, or or if I don't clean them myself, I take them to a place like Classy Chassis or somewhere. Or um, well, that was a good deal. My guy told me he'll um, get them done, get them cleaned up, looking brand new for thirty-five dollars. So I think I'm gonna try that route, see how it go at the detailing spot. If they go good, we'll keep on rolling with that. And we'll definitely keep on rolling with that, man. So, 
I mean, because the seats was in such good condition. Let me flip the camera. So yeah, the seats was in good condition, as I was just saying. So I, I really don't see the need to really tear, tear it down. I mean, I would have, because I wanted it to all kind of flow. But I think, I think they'll be fine for now, just getting them clean and just roll with them. So, you know. But I like to take y'all on the journey of some of the stuff I'm doing. A little bit of behind the scenes to the madness that I be be doing a little bit because I know all the time everybody don't get to see the in depth of everything you know you see see a video stop here and then go there stop here and go there so but definitely he told me to come back about two hours to check it out and um and see see how they did so he said he could really get them out so we're gonna try we back and man Look at these seats. Man, look how good they turned out. We're just getting shampooed. Sometimes shampooing is all it takes. But they came out a whole lot bluer. They gonna match that carpet real well. Man, a lot of them stains is gone. Man, I am happy. I am, I'm really happy with it. And it only cost me $40, man. $40 to get them done. So man, it, it really worked out in my favor just to get them, uh, get them shampooed. Cause was, was there nothing really wrong with them? You know, but I thought maybe it might need to be a little darker. They came out good, so man, all I'm waiting on is my bracket to come in, and we're gonna get these seats out of here, put them new seats in, and then order new door panels, and pretty much the inside will be done until I get that until I get that special uh, gauge cluster. After that, everything will be pretty much done in the inside. Oh yeah, I will have to get the carpet redone and some new headline uh, visors, not headline visors, and get the headliner done. And that'll be pretty much it. And then get the console built, 4-8s put in. Man, that'll be a wrap on them. So man, just wanted to show y'all, give y'all a little look of all the nonsense that goes on down here, man. It's hard trying to get stuff done, but you know, wind up getting this done, and, and it is what it is too. So got them mounted in. Got the new bracket in. Got them pretty much mounted in. Test mounted. But what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to slide them back some because it's a little too close up to the seat. So probably what I'm gonna have to do is drill me some new holes. Cause these are the regular mountain holes or if I don't do that, I might swap the tracks around. So I'm gonna see which one I'm gonna really like. So that'll probably be the next video is taking them back out and um trying to get them to match up because the only part is i got it slid all the way back right now so you can see it's all the way back and then if i scoot it forward see how much more forward it is so yeah i'm gonna have to scoot them back because i'm a big tall guy and i can't can't be all the way up on the steering wheel but for the most part they are in they are in so I did want to take the time and show y'all them in. Well, can't get a good look of them from that angle, but they are in. They definitely are in. So that'll be the next video, getting them positioned exactly the way I want them. Cause I still got a lot of room where I could come back. And it's only a bow hole here and a bow hole there. So probably what I do, it slide it all the way back. You can see, I got all that room all the way back to right there. I can slide them back, so that'll be an easy fix. So we'll do that on the next video. So this your boy, Chevy Box Rider. Chevy TV. Chevy TV.